Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. Today I'm going to do another art journal on a smaller surface. This is a mini art journal page. Uh, and I uh, used black gesso already to cover it. It's a chipboard, so it's quite thick. I can put as many layers as I want. I'm going to use Stamperia products. This is an amazing stencil with bricks. Uh, I really like it. It's large enough to cover any area. And I'm using this gloss paste. Uh, I quite like this one as well. It's very thick, uh, easy to apply. And the result you will see that uh, will be amazing. It will dry clear and give a very nice uh, glossy texture. Here it is. It doesn't seep through the page because it's very thick. And you can see here how glossy it is. While I leave that to dry, I'm going to prepare my chipboards. These are uh, clock chipboards from Stamperia. Uh, I'm going to use several of them because as I said, I want to create a, a really layered uh, look. Uh, and also these uh, corners as well. I'm covering all of them with black gesso. I'm using black uh, as a base this time because I'm going to use iridescent uh, paints. And uh, I believe they will show really well on black. While I do that, I can also tell you, you will find full list of supplies down below at the description area as usual or in my blog. Now I'm going to place my uh, cloaks on the page. As you see, it's dry. I left it to air dry. I think it took like 20 minutes or uh, half an hour. Here are the colors that I'm going to use. These are uh, paints that are iridescent. It came in a package of three, red, green and blue. And uh, it looks white, but uh, it's very iridescent. And when you apply on uh, darker surfaces, it really gives a nice uh, shine, uh, metallic uh, look. Now I'm applying the green one, then I will apply the blue one. Uh, and in the end, uh, I will show you that it will look uh, quite clearly on the black surface. You can check the uh, close-up pictures at the end of the video to see the real color. I would encourage you to go to my blog to see the uh, pictures as well. Now I will show you the color uh, if the camera catches it. To me it looks uh, very beautiful and as I said you can see the pictures uh, to see it uh, how it looks. Here is another stamp one of my uh, all time favorites uh, from Stamperia. I used it again and again uh, since long time. It's very delicate background stamp, a flourish stamp. I love it. Uh, and I'm using a silver metallic uh, acrylic paint. This is heavy body and apply it with my sponge and stamp uh, with this paint just to have more interest at the background. Now I'm going to try to place my uh, elements. Uh, I'm seeing how I want them. Uh, I want to create a nice uh, layered look with my cloaks and my uh, edges. And after I am happy, I'm going to stick these with a matte medium. The matte medium I am using is uh, from Stamperia, it's called Mixed Media Glue. Here is how uh, the page looks after I sticked everything. Now to make everything uh, more clear, I'm using a silver uh, paint that I used at the background. I'm going over the elements lightly. I'm not uh, pressing a lot because all I want is uh, for their designs to come forward. Uh, this way you will be able to see the clock designs and uh, all the details on all these uh, chipboards. 
Also, the page uh, will come together with all the silver at the background as well. I have this uh, dragonfly stamp as well. It's very beautiful, very delicate. I'm going to stamp it uh, twice and uh, use it on my chipboards as another element. I'm going to fussy cut these. I will uh, use these two uh, on top of each other. I'm uh, giving uh, this color, it's a spray, uh, turquoise spray. Um, and it's uh, not iridescent but it's permanent after it dries it doesn't move uh, smudge and smear which is very nice about these sprays and for now I decided not to give color to the one on top and I'm going to uh, stick these two together I got rid of the tail of one so it doesn't look like uh, it's two I just want the wings to spread I'm going to stick it uh, on my clocks, uh, allowing the uh, wings below to be visible as well. And it's time to stick my sentiment. Even miracles take little time. That's why I have all these clocks uh, at the background. Uh, I printed these with my uh, label maker, uh, just on black. Uh, you can print it uh, on... Uh, printer or write it yourself it doesn't matter now I will give some finishing touches to my page I'm going to give a nice uh, border around the edges uh, again using the same silver paint and my sponge I'm just dabbing a little bit to give a little bit definition I'm not uh, pressing very hard just a soft touch and I'm going to do some splashes while I have it as well This is the moment I decided uh, I to color my dragonfly on top as well. I'm using the same color, turquoise spray and uh, apply it with my uh, brush. And to have a bit of shading, I'm applying one more coat uh, in the in some parts of the dragonfly. This way it looks more uh, realistic. And here it is, the page is finished. Uh, it's a nice mixed media look with lots of layers. Uh, and lots of uh, products used. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. That's how I know you like my videos. And thank you for all your lovely comments. I really cherish them and try to reply to each one of you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.